Welcome to Diablo 4. Amber here with an obol farming guide. And this works at any level. I am right near the Menestad waypoint, which is just north of Kyovashad. And I'm here to the northwest. And there is an event that spawns here very frequently. And so this farming run is just going between two locations close to each other where events spawn really quickly. And so I'm going to fast forward this event at double time just so we can get to the second one. This is the Waves of Darkness event, which is a little bit tough for me as a rogue. <laughs> if you're playing a tankier class, you might be able to clear this a bit faster, but I'm still able to um, clear it pretty fast. Oh, and I'm getting help right here from a barbarian who just happened to come by. If other players come by while you're doing these events, they can help you. So there's a barbarian helping me out, but you can do this solo. This farming guide works for solo players as well as if you're playing um, in a party or if there happen to be other players in the world when you happen to come by. So I've finished this event and we've got that greater radiant chest, which is going to give us 35 obols. And the point of getting these obols is then you can use them to gamble with the curiosity vendor in Kyovashad or the other major cities to get uh, specific pieces of gear that could drop at rare or legendary um, levels. So now after I finish this uh, event, I'm going to head back to um, Menestad because I found that that makes the second event spawn a little bit more quickly. So I'm going to go from where I'm at right now on the um, northwest of Menestad, I'm going to fast travel back to Menestad. And if you haven't unlocked Menestad yet, you can just start in Kyovashad and head north and you'll run into the waypoint, or you can pick up the side quest Menestad Coffers in Kyovashad, and that'll lead you right here. I think that's how I found it the first time. Okay, so the second event, or second location where an event usually spawns is north, north uh, east of Menestad. So you're just gonna head out this north gate, and then as soon as you uh, pass the gate, there'll be that rope overhead, you're gonna head to your right, and I'm just gonna run past these using my rogue stealth concealment ability because I wanna get right to this event. And as, as you can see, this event just spawned as soon as I got here. And this is a different event than before. This is the Wayward Soul. This is one of the events where you have to actually interact with the NPC to start it. But then once you start it, um, you're just killing enemies. And I'm gonna go into double time right here so we can get through this a little faster and this one I think I'm gonna do yeah I'm gonna do this one looks like I'm gonna do this one solo there's no other players around um, and if you are able to complete the objectives that are on screen you'll actually get the full 35 ovals if you take too long to kill the enemies or don't complete the objectives you might get less but that's one of the good things about doing this farming run is you're going between these two locations that tend to have the same events spawning. So you can get pretty good at these events. Oh, and I just leveled up. You will get XP too by uh, doing these events. You'll get XP and you'll get gold. But the main point usually is to get the ovals. But if, you want, if you're close to a level and you want to just you know, have a quick way to level up without going into dungeons or doing side quests, this can also be a good strategy to use. And there, I just finished the Wayward Soul and I got my Greater Radiant Chest for completing the objectives. And so to keep this farming loop going, I'm just going to head back to Menestad and then check those two locations that I showed you. This is the first location where an event will usually spawn and then the second location. So I'm going to fast travel back to Menestad and I found that kind of resets the spawn on the events. I'm playing on uh, Xbox uh, S, Series S here. So your loading time will obviously depend like on your platform. Uh, and so 
fast travel back to Menestad and then head north to this open area where there's usually an event that'll spawn. And if you don't see the event there, then no problem. So I'm just going to look for that same event that I was at last time and it's not there. So it doesn't seem like the event spawned. Oh, I didn't pick up all my gold. I can do that later. <laughs> and so I'm going to head to the second, head north to this other open area where I was when I started the video and there's often an, an event that spawns there and let's see if it if it spawns this time and you can check up on your mini map to see that oh yes there it is yay so there it is again this event that is going to let you collect more ovals so there you have it a quick little farming run in fractured peaks that you can run very early in the game during act one to stock up on obols. How did this work for you? Leave me a comment, let me know what you thought, or if there's other videos you want to see, such as the leveling build I'm using here for my rogue, or other questions you might have. This is Amber. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel for more guides and gameplay for Diablo 4.